Hello everyone, welcome back to TechCloud channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss about DNS packet in which we will explore the query and response messages being shared in the DNS packet. So DNS message is relatively simple. The browser queries a domain name and gets an IP address, right? Now, if a DNS server does not recognize the domain name, it will pass the query along to the following DNS like this, on, you can see on the screen. Later, when receiving a response, it carries the response to the browser, kind of like a client server communication. So if you are interested in how DNS resolution works, we have already uploaded DNS video and uh, we'll share the link in the description or you can even visit the channel page. For the moving, so this is a DNS query message. Let's first evaluate this. Under the query message, we have transaction ID, flags, question, answer RRs, authority RRs, additional RRs and the queries. The top you can see is the header and on the bottom is the actual query here. So transaction ID shows for the matching response to the queries where flags specify the requested operation and a response code. Questions section, it count of the entries in the query section in the header itself. And then we have this answer RR. So answer RR count of entries in the answer section and uh, RR stands for resource record. Then we have authority RRs, count of authorities in the authority section. At the end, we have this additional RR in the header. So this additional RR count of entries in the additional section and then the queries. So queries has the actual data over here. Among them, what need attention are the first questions, answer RR and queries. These three are the main important aspect to evaluate in a query response, query message. Here is an example of a query message for uh, image.google.com, which you can see on the screen here. So the question one highlighted in yellow so question one means this message has one entry in the queries and the answer RR as zero means there is no answer. So this is expected as a query message has only question and no answer. Same thing you can see over on the screen. Now let's dive into the entry structure of query that is merely three sections name, type and class. So name basically spell about the domain name it is just shows the domain name and the type type shows the dns record type there are various types in dns record like an example a record cname record mx record mail record like this so these kind of uh, records will show in the type section and then the class so class is something that allows domain name to be used for the arbitrary object here. Let me make you easy for to understand. So the structure is here like an example you can see that the name is the requested domain and which is image.google.com. Type is a, a record. It's a, a record message means and a record is the most basic and the most commonly used DNS record type. Then we have class in refer to the internet in means internet it does not matter much in our browser context right now so moving on now here is the interesting part is how the message codes the name field using dot as a separator and this example domain can be divided into three groups so think of it dot image i m a g e dot google g double o g l e then dot com in the example marked in blue, the first byte is 05, meaning the following five bytes means the image. If you count the number of the letter, I M A G E is a five letter. That's why it's a five byte are the first group of the domain. In the second screen, the second screenshot bytes are presented in ASCII code. We can easily decode them into characters like 69 as I 
6d as m 61 as a 67 as g and 65 as e these are the SCADIS code actually so if you have more knowledge in SCADI code you can decode this also very easily in the YSR cloth then we get image out of all this number numeric con constructs following the same rule we can find the remaining part of the domain which is Google and com finally so at the end of the domain we see this 00, 0 marks the end of the section that is the query with all required information provided by the queries the DNS server will send a response message then now so this is what actually a DNS query message looks like and uh, this is how you can even evaluate a Wireshark log and try to find it out that what exactly the log says. Moving on now next let's see the response message as well. So query message is from a client which sent to the server to get some query information but response message is something that the client received from the uh, server end. Okay so client has those specific frame header along with the query but same thing we will get in the response and that will include one more extra thing which is answer section so in the same response message we can see on under the header transaction id flags questions answer error authority error and additional error including queries and the answer as well so response matches share the same header and queries with an additional field called as answer section and why does the response message include the origin query section because it shows the reference that where we will get to it soon now um, here is a response example from querying image.google.com you can see on the screen so in the message we receive three entries in the answer section Therefore, answer RR is set to 3. You can see in the yellow marks. In the first entry, the DNS server returns a CNAME which is image.google.com for an initial query. Second, then a new query for image.google.com is sent and another CNAME image.1.google.com is returned in the second entry. So finally, by querying image.1.google.com, the client received the IP address 172.217.1.14 in the last entry. You can see highlighted over here. So beside the same three section found in the query entry, an answer entry has three additional pieces, which is quite more important to know in a response packet, in the response message, which is time to live TTL which shows the number of second this record can be alive that how many for how much time that how much second millisecond that this record will be available or live in the network now the data length this shows the length of the data pretty simple as we see when in the Ethernet and ID IP header then the data so this return the data like a IP address or a CNAME from the uh, server end okay so same thing look at this uh, image and then there is a name section which has merely two bytes c0 and 0c and how a domain coded into two bytes it's turned out the bytes are often offset referring to the coded domain name in the query section actually so c0 is a beginning marks while 0c is the actual offset which is 12 you can see same thing over on the screen now so we count 12 bytes from the start byte of the message and then 17 marked as red in the screenshot at the end we reach in this 13 bytes which is 05 the beginning of image.google.com marked in yellow all this you can see over here how it shows all this image.google.com is being coded with the SCSI code now in the return so not to let make it more complex and uh, uh, let me try to explain it too easily so in the second entry 
of this answer the name offset is 2e which is 46 byte by counting 46 byte we found the encoded image in the name of in the name of the previous entry marked in yellow you can see over on the screen here okay now let's just look into this 06 the following 6 byte are in the same group then the 69 again explain i 6d m 61a following that 67 65 73 all this says same thing image so at the end of the image we recognize another offset reference which is c0 12 that's 18 bytes so again by counting 18 reach the referred part marked in green google.com in the name of preview entry right so the offset data is an inspiring design with with it the message saves considerable spaces here so finally we decoded the address in the last answer entry like the ac called 172 d9 is 21701 as 1 and 0 e as 14 okay so what need attention in a dns message are mostly the question if you are evaluating a wireshark packet capture log in that log we first look into the question answer rr question answer rr queries and the answers from the queries and response messages as well and by understanding how the name is coded you read in the message bytes with a's okay so this is all about the dns messages of query message and the response message explained here i hope this is helpful for you and if you like the video please share with uh, your colleague or your friend as well and uh, please like comment share and subscribe thank you for watching